Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to copy and paste anything onto your USB stick. So once we're assuming that you already plugged in your USB stick onto your computer, whether it's a MacBook Pro or iMac, um, all you have to do is open it up. So you're going to get something like this. Okay. Now this icon might say untitled or just the brand of your USB stick. Now let's say you don't get that. That's just in your settings. Um, that's why you're not seeing that. It's okay. You can just go into Finder. On Finder, you will see it on the side, okay? So on the side, you're gonna see devices and there's gonna be your Untitled or whatever name you put onto your USB stick. Uh, now, I have some files there, so that's why we see some, or else you'll see just a white space, okay? Now, if you wanna copy and paste, all you have to do is basically drag and drop. So you can just click and hold on top of your folder, for example, and then just drop it on top. So you just actually drop, okay? So you just let go of the clicking, and then it's gonna drop and that's it uh, same thing goes for a picture let's say this uh, screenshot that I did you can just drag and drop okay another way to copy and paste onto it is just right clicking on any of the items that you want to copy and paste so let's do this video right now um, let's just right click on it we're gonna see the option to copy so we copy then we can just click on our USB stick and put in paste item so let's say you copy and paste. Now let's say you guys are having problems and you can't copy some files because they're pretty big. That's basically because of the format of your USB stick. Now to check out the format of your USB, USB stick, or maybe you're not even seeing it right here on your finder, which is a problem, um, all you have to do is open up this utility. Now if you can't find this utility down there, don't worry, just go into up here, click, okay and then just click on the search for you uh, this utility so just type in this this utility open it up okay so there's my disk utility now up here on my disk utility we will see some options I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can see a little bit better okay um, so here we see our Mac now what we want is this USB flash drive okay so just click on it Now you can click on this part of it this is kind of a partition of it but not really anyways um here you can see what it is okay if it's formatted for Mac for PC what how it's formatted so just click on erase now the initial format of this is MS-DOS fat which I never recommend actually formatting as that I, al I always always recommend formatting as X fat now what happens when you format when you erase it actually literally does that it erases all your content in your USB stick and then you can't get it back so make sure if you're gonna format it at this point um, to get your stuff out of there okay or if you don't care what stuff is in there then you can just go ahead and format it now like I said if you want this to work for both um, Mac and PC computers any Windows computer then you want to format as XFAT okay now if you just wanted to work with Macs then you can just format as this the first option okay I recommend the first option just because it's the easiest one um, it's 100% compatible and you won't have any problems with it with transferring any files. Now if you format as XFAT or MS-DOS FAT, which don't do MS-DOS FAT, um, which um, XFAT, then you might have problems later on transferring files, they might get lost, they might, okay? I'm not saying they will, but they might, so it's not that secure. The most secure one that I found myself has been this journal if you format as journal it's nice and secure but it's only gonna work for Mac okay um, now if you see MS-DOS fat right now on your right here USB stick that means you can't transfer files bigger than 4 gigs so if you're trying to transfer a video that weighs you know one point I mean 4.1 gigs then you can't it won't let you even 5 gigs and up it won't let you okay so that's why I don't recommend formatting as MS-DOS FAT although MS-DOS FAT will be compatible with so many things such as Linux um, you will have that problem of transferring big files so that's why I don't recommend doing that anyways once you select your let's say MS-DOS FAT or XFAT XFAT just click on erase and it's gonna format it's gonna be nice and clean and there you have your night your good format then you will be able to transfer any huge files that you want to transfer for now we're just gonna leave this we're not even gonna do that I just taught you guys remember to press erase and then you're all done um, you can also do partitions on it okay 
okay so this is 64 gig I could do half for Mac half for PC that's another way to go um, I wouldn't actually recommend this for a USB stick because they're small I mean you don't really need that but you could um, so for now we're just gonna close that up and I'm gonna teach you the last way of copying and paste which is basically with your keyboard okay so on your keyboard you're just gonna press command C so let's say I want to copy this again I'm, I can just press command C on my keyboard and then go to my USB stick and press command V the letter V and it's gonna copy and paste that into here so since I already have that um, folder in there it's gonna ask me if I want to replace I'll put replace doesn't matter and there's my folder okay so that's how you can copy and paste stuff onto your USB stick if you guys are having any problems questions you can write them here below in my comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you